here is a suggestion that everything is an illusion, including this story. So I had a dream that there were separate individuals. I had a dream that there were time. I had a dream that there was you and me. I had a dream that there's this meeting. I had a dream that everyone's sleepwalking. I had a dream that everybody's blacked out. I had a dream that there's a seriousness in trying to get out of this apparent illusion. I had a dream that there was a belief system. I have a dream that there was a this or that. <laughs> But seeing through this dream, dreaming, that all of these words are appearing in a dream, meaning that they're not really pointing to something that is quite really obvious already. That this is a, this is a dreaming without any dreamers. That there is this time that's a really persistent illusion that's not really real that there is this separateness, but there's only wholeness. So in this unconditional wholeness, everything is appearing as conditional, but it's just a dream. In this dream, there was you, 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 and you. <laughs> but really there's no one. So since there's no one, I'm not really addressing this to anyone. But since this is an illusion, there's this illusion that there is someone here or someone there. So this message is to that illusion, although I'm not talking to anyone. This is not real. Nothing is happening. There is no time. This is completely wordless. This is energetic. It is this boundless energy. And there's no one there listening to this. And there's no one here speaking. There's no preference. There's no free will. You didn't choose to come here. In fact, you are not here. This is an illusion appearing to an illusion. But since there are no separate illusion, there's just this singular illusion that is so expansive that it thinks, feels, believes, experiences. But that's the illusion, right? It feels completely real. So again, kind of like in a, in a fort wall in a movie, you know, those movies when, when <laughs> the character speaks out, speaking to no one. This is just a show. There's no one here. There's no one in the show. Everything that you're feeling, everything that you're experiencing is temporal. <laughs> uh, why so serious? There's nothing to get here. It's just been exposed that this is a complete fabrication. But it feels really real. It feels completely real. And there's no way out. I can't show you a way out because there's no you. There's actually no out. There's no in. All that there is is this. This gigantic singular illusion. It's not really even gigantic. It's a minuscule illusion. <laughs> that feels so expansive. Feels so freaking real. That you believe it completely. You get stressed about it. You think that there's something way out. There must be something that he's saying that can wake me up to this illusion or drop me away. Emerson, do something that I can so that I can feel good. But feeling good, dropping away, feeling contracted is that singular illusion. It's that singular illusion. There's no way out of here because there's no here. Here is also an illusion. There is also an illusion. 
time is an illusion. So for something to happen, it has to happen in time, a before or after, since it's being exposed here that there's no such thing as a time. It though, although it feels completely real, some of you woke up at like 7 o'clock this morning, but no one went to bed, so no one woke up. And since this is hardcore, let's just reveal it completely. I'm not talking to anyone here. There's no one talking here. Everything that you think, feel, and see is fake. It's completely fake, but it feels completely real. I'm not saying this to anyone. No one's really listening to this, but there's this idea. There's this idea that something is happening and something will happen. Something happened in the past and something is bound to be revealed. It's being revealed already that there's nothing happening. <laughs> Fun stuff. So everyone here is blacked out. But they think that they're not blacked out. What I mean by blacked out is they're moving, talking, listening, but there's no substance behind it. There's no one behind it. There's this, in the blacked outness or in the complete nothingness, there is this belief, a tiny single tidbit idea that this is happening to me a really flimsy illusion that there is separateness here, that the world is centered around me. Nothing wrong or right about that, but it's just a dream. It's actually not just a dream. It's like dreaming, but no one is dreaming. <laughs> Vera, please go ahead. You mean I can speak or what? Hello? Hello? Hi. I can hear Hi. you. You can Hi, hear Vera. me? Yeah. Yeah. There. Hi, Emerson. We have the same glasses. Cool. I know. I know. <laughs> crazy, crazy red glasses. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I guess the only thing that's coming out is um, who or what is speaking and who or what is aware of this. No one is aware. No one is mm. speaking. It's just this boundless energy, this mm. illusory separateness, but it's actually just wholeness speaking, emptiness speaking. Again, these are just words to try to capture something that's quite obvious, that this is just wholeness. This is completeness. There's nothing outside of here. So can we say we are that? We are the wholeness? Identification in, in the wholeness is, is goes the me goes into an underground illusion again, right? It's a trap. Mm. The moment that you say that I am wholeness, that I am awareness, I am this or that, then the identification magnifies. It goes underground. You think that you're, okay. you know, there's things, there's this, it's kind of like a, um, a false humility mm. that I am actually everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really coming to a position. It's a position. It's a knowable. Yeah, it's a position. It's a knowable. So it doesn't, it doesn't land anywhere. There's, I, I know that there's a lot of speakers, teachers out there that will claim that, that they are complete or totality. But mm. again, that's just like a humble brag that I am God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or I am, I'm not quite God yet, but when I awaken, I'll be God. And you don't even know it, and I don't even know it which is a false yeah. narrative. It's just another narrative. It's another narrative, just like yeah. this one. This just like this one. Yeah, that's what's being expressed here. Everything is a narrative. Everything is an illusion. There's no one dreaming. And this is an illusion talking to an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, illusion. Hello, back, illusion. Nice to meet you, illusion. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, Vera. Thank you. So this is just an exposure, I guess, that, that it's not really talking to anyone. Although it seems I'm talking to someone, but there's no one here. This is just, this is just a piercing through that veil of illusion that it's an illusion. It's a, <laughs> it's a, re a reveal. Although the illusion is so expansive and so real that it feels, feels, completely real it's a, it's like a sleepwalker that's moving through this illusory time and space moving sure. about waking up going to zoom but there's a navigation system called the me that further supports the illusion so the me wakes up and says that well this can't be true then you know all that narrative well i am here i made coffee um i'm listening to you there's subject and object Clearly, you are wrong. Um, well, there's no wrong or right as well. So if you believe that, that's completely all right. But what's being expressed here is that everything and anything that you believe is an illusion. It's a dream. Is there any danger about this communication for the individual? Um, Ramsey, well, there's no individual really, right? There's really no communication. Again, I'm going to I'm going to do disclaimer here, right? Since this there's a belief in the dream, this communication is no way communicating to an individual. This is not therapy. If you need therapy, this is not the place for that. This is just an illumination that there's never been an individual. So this is an entertainment, <laughs> basically. It's an illusion exposing the illusion that everything is an illusion, that everything is an idea, that everything is a concept. Oh my, I, I don't know why my internet is always, there's, I'm gonna call Zoom. Someone said that you're dropping in and out mm. because mm. I'm an illusion. Um. <laughs> just a moment, okay? I'm just going to check the speed here. So I was going to mention too, Emerson, after everything you've done and all the things you've studied and all the hours, <laughs> uh, how do you, I mean, you've been through so much. I've heard some of your descriptions, whatever you, the illusionary you has been through. So how do you feel now? Where are you now? Do you feel you seem, you seem like a happy person. Do you feel like you have the illusionary happiness more than ever or <laughs> that the illusionary satisfaction and contentment more it's, than ever? It's a relief that mm. every, everything that I thought was real Everything that all the suffering, all of the kind of like, uh, uh, what do you call that again? Why is this, there's a word for it? Um, Angst? No, no, no. There's a, I, I really say it in about Dutch. This. <laughs> I'll say it in Dutch. It's, yes. uh, it's, it's the uh, um, rock bottom. Hmm. Kept on hitting rock bottom. I thought that I had to hit rock bottom after rock bottom, rock bottom to achieve something. Kind of like that Byron Katie story. I was once one time in on 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 a floor and, and you crying. just went in and out again. Oh wow! Mm. Okay, always happens. We just I just lost you. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> just the moment, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, it seems that that the internet connection is solid, but I don't know why. All right, mm. I'll just keep on going. I'll just keep on going. Just let me know if I'm dropping in and out so I can repeat. Yeah, you um, can repeat, yeah. Yeah, so what was being, it's, it's, it's just a, a, a great relief. It's kind of like that, that, you know, that the end of The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. When Dorothy wakes up and they're like, I dreamt that there was, a, you know, a tornado and I met some witches and I was looking for The Wizard of Oz. But basically when I looked behind the curtain, The Wizard of Oz was really fake. Everything yeah. is fake. 
you were there, you were there, you were there, you were there, but really no one was there. That's my favorite movie. I like that too. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> yeah, so it's pointing to something that's illusory, and that's what's being pointed out here is that everything, anything that you see is unreal and real. And the, the mm, biggest, the biggest. That again. Okay, <laughs> let me let me just put you on pause. I'm going to to um connect to a different source. Just a second, okay. Mm. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you see me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me go back to that one. Sorry about this technique. It always happens. I don't know why. I have a gigabyte internet and it should not. Mm. So yeah, so what's being expressed here is that everything, 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 nothing is excluded. Is, is everything is just appearing as this. So the biggest um, illusion of all is time. Well, there's actually no biggest. It's all one illusion. But what was really confusing for this character was because it read so many books about consciousness, awareness, was trying to teach awareness and consciousness. But I didn't know that that was also a, tri a, a, a trap. Mm. Because to be aware signifies time. To be conscious time to abide time it all includes time to realize time to get enlightened time to awaken time so that biggest misconception that time is real is the biggest see through you're like okay so if there is no time if time is seemingly in the story the biggest illusion because it's such a big um it seems like a real happening because you wake up in the morning you 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 set time to watch this or whatever so when time is revealed as not really moving time there's no before or after all of this mm. is just timelessness appearing to be segmented into moments even listening to kind of like uh, Eckhart Tolle before about the power of now. That was a big trap as well. Because it's a belief that there is, you're not in the now. And then it reinforces the me that have to be in time. Or I'm stuck, I'm not in the moment, or, or what I did, this character did is really funny. I would walk around, you know, with this superior that I am in the now. I'm like, oh, pe most people are not in the now. <laughs> You're not in the now. You're not in the now. You're not in the now. But I am always in the now. So that <laughs> that creates this illusion again. The me has underground as a superior me. That's I'm in the present and you're not. So the illusion is so expansive that it thinks that there are others that are not in the now. Or there's an Eckert dude that talks about the now. <laughs> Which is, by the way, kind of like Ram does. So... The time, seemingly, is, is a, it's, it's almost kind of like a, um, an alarm or a breakout, breaking thing. That the moment that you think in th time, the moment that you picture something in time, it's all illusion. So I'm listening now. I'm getting this now. I will get this later. That me will drop away. I saw a glimpse there was a time that I saw emptiness. There was no more chatter. That's all time-based. Mm. So when that is seen as one of the greatest obstacle, which is actually really flimsy, because if there's nothing outside of this, where's time? When you're dreaming at night, and mm. in the moment that you wake up, there's no one that wakes up, but in the parent story, it wakes up, then the time, the illusory time, completely vanishes you're like what 
so all that time that I was dreaming, sometimes you have these epic dreams <laughs> that there is this, there is this, it almost feels like three hours and it's only like 10 minutes. It's mm. showing that time is illusory. That, and then the moment that you will wake up, even though the dream, dream felt completely real, it's, it's not valid anymore. Because that was a dream. That didn't happen. There's actually no difference. If there's no time, there's no difference between now and then. There is no night time and there's no daytime. It's just this. And nothing outside of this. Well, one of my favorite uh, spiritual things is The Course in Miracles. And it's... I think it has a lot of the qualities that you speak of. I wish I could I wish I could support that. I really like, you know, a couple of sentences from A Course in Miracles, but it feels like I did it for about 10 years to be honest with you. <laughs> and I was one of those really kind of like persistent. This character is very persistent. <laughs> like any character is very <laughs> persistent. So it persisted and persisted thinking that it can become a teacher of God. That it can collapse time. That it can, you know, by doing the meditation, daily meditation, was almost very frantic about it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I missed that. I would start all over again because I thought that for the A Course in Miracles to work, that you have to from day one to day 365. So if you missed it, I would start all over again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I guess I am not at that persistent. <laughs> I've been doing it or involved with it for 30 years, but um, I just basically, there's, I just take the essence of it, which is there's no time, yeah, nothing, yeah. nothing to do, yeah, uh, nothing happened, nothing is happening. Nothing is and happening. Yeah. Not, uh, everything is, is just wholeness and oneness and there's nothing. Yeah, it's very simple, but it's yeah. in this giant yeah. book, right? Oh yeah, it's big. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And it's complicated because it 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 um talks about the Holy Spirit, you know, and and the instant you know, instant moment. I was yeah, looking for that. that yeah. I know some people just realized that none of it it's all part of the dream. Yeah. So why just not say that? Huh? Why just not say that? Yeah. Rather than going through this big book. There's no one choosing to do no, it anyway. I guess <laughs> After you go through the big book, then you get to that conclusion of one line. It's all a dream. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Including the book. Right. Including everything in the book. Yeah. There's no book, right. really. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no one choosing to do that anyway, so that's cool. Um, there is a question here from... Um, from Ramsey. Ramsey, if you want to open up your mic, please go ahead. It seems we may be able to shift focus and be present to thoughts. Can you speak about focus? Yeah, see, see there, yeah, I'm going to go back into this again, right? Because I'm going to just really drive this. Really, really drive this. Everything that you think happens in time is an illusion, including focus. It seems we may be able to shift focus and be present to thoughts. Can you speak about that? So being present in thoughts, being able to shift focus signifies that there's time. So when it's seen that time is illusory, to focus, to meditate, I'll use the word meditate, is trying to fix something or trying to move something in time that just doesn't exist. The power of now has helped many into becoming present Please clarify. Yes, again, again, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the trap. You know, I, I, I told about the story of, of becoming present. Who becomes present then? Who? So just this idea again that I am present. I am here. So it reinforces the illusion of me being present. So it goes into the cyclical merry-go-round of spiritual candies it's nice to be present as i said i became um so present that i could not to talk talk to anyone that was not present i would just say i'm sorry but you're not in the present moment right now i can't talk to you 
we're not in the same wavelength. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so present right now that I can see oh. that you're not present. So it becomes the me or the idea, the character gets reinforced over and over again and thinking that I am in the present moment. I am becoming present. Um, there's nothing wrong or right about that. You know, if you, it's a nice dream to be present, but it's another trap. <laughs> Is it too hardcore? Good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no traps either. It's all no, not really. <laughs> William. Hi, Emerson. Hello. Yeah, the thing is, it's ridiculous even asking a question at this point because you covered everything already in what you said. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> I had a question even before you started talking, which is it really feels like there's a direction to life, mm. but you've already dismantled that there isn't any time and that nothing's happening and all of that. So, yeah. It makes it hard to ask you a question. That's good. This is a hardcore session, right? <laughs> <laughs> I still it's just, feel it's just, like. Go ahead. Sorry. The things I was going to say. It just really, really, and I know, and you've also said that the dream or the illusion feels totally real. So yeah, one is invalid, but it really feels like this is something happening now, and there's a direction into something else, the future. Yeah. And hopefully that's where all that I'm looking for lies. And if I do the right thing, I'll find it. If I do the, you know, all of that. Yeah. So that's, that's the, the it's, it's all a trick, right? It's, if there's nothing wrong or right about asking question, if you want it to be clarified, but I'm just putting one of the, uh, one of the, uh, the big belief is time, right? The big belief. It's really persistent, really, really persistent that I have to get somewhere. So it, it takes you on a spin again. Rather than seeing that everything that's being expressed is already this. Timelessness. When the time even moves in and, and, and say that I'm trying to be present to get this timelessness, it has gone underground again. It's thinking in an illusion again. Or maybe after this meeting, I will get somewhere. That I will get this somehow. Everything that is rooted in time is a persistent illusion that supports that this is real. So what appears is this. And not this. <laughs> <laughs> this apparently appears and doesn't appear. There's no direction to this. No. It's not going to become something else in five minutes or two hours no. or three days. No, because there's no five minutes or three minutes or now or then or later. But this Zoom meeting, I'm assuming, is an hour and a half, two hours, whatever it is. I don't know. Is it really? <laughs> in two hours, you won't be in this meeting. There's no, no me here in this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you on the screen. That's you. <laughs> so you're not in, there's no one in this meeting. There's never been anyone in any, there's never been even a meeting. So what's being expressed here is that there is an illusion that there is a William and an Emerson here that is talking together. But I just exposed earlier that everything that seen in time and space is fake. It's not really happening, but it feels completely real. I'm exp but, exposing everything now. Emerson, that's I don't what it is. To, Emerson, I don't want this to sound offensive because I love yeah. you, but this sounds crazy. It is crazy. It actually sounds crazy. It is crazy. So is the idea that there's someone there is also crazy. No, that's normal. <laughs> to who? <laughs> Well, I was going to say it's a normally accepted belief in the world, but then again, I suppose what it, world? the world is a big yeah. what belief. So there's just this one illusion, right? And the illusion is very me-centric, that I am, there's other people here. There's only this singular illusion. And most of it is rooted in the illusion of time. 
Okay, so when the illusion appears to fall away, it, it, there's no illusion that falls away because that's time. <laughs> I'm gonna stop crying now, but thank you. This is racist. You can't, you can't win, William. You can't win. All right, I'll put you. In You're the right. Way. I can't. <laughs> There's this seemingly, um, what do you call it? There's this, I'm sorry for my scratchy vote. Bo I think I have COVID. Um. <laughs> there's, no, there's no COVID. That's all a dream. There's no COVID, apparently. Um, there's nothing, but <laughs> if my voice seems scratchy, it, it seemingly was what's happening, but not really happening mm -hmm. at the same time. I mean, it's quite sexy. It's fine. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Maybe I'll keep this voice. <laughs> um. Yeah, so this is basically a, a, a like a sobriety of all of these stories about time, stories mm. about um, dropping away. Mm. One of the most popular questions that everyone seems to ask is, how did you drop away? How did this happen to you? When mm. did this happen to you? When, when did this happen? Sorry, I'm just going to me. <laughs> when did this happen to you? When is it going to happen to me? How long ago did you have this? So all of that is time again. All of that is not true. Or I had this, I had this glimpse, Emerson, when I was talking to you. Um, everything disappeared. Um, I had this blissfulness. You just made timelessness into time. There's no one doing it. But what was seen as timelessness, the timekeeper, which is the me, made it into a narrative. Nothing wrong or right about that as well. William. Yeah, so that was actually interesting. I just thought what Vera said about you won't win, William, because the me is so convinced its position's real, but it has to carry on defending its position. Yeah, yeah. But so, but this communication never backs down to what the me says, whereas the me is constantly trying to reassert, I am real, I am going to get somewhere, something's happening, blah, 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 blah. And you're someone real as well. So why does this communication, why can't this communication be penetrated? Because you're sleep talking. <laughs> That's not the answer I thought I was going to get. <laughs> You're sleep talking. Yeah, but it's almost like I'm constantly trying to find holes in this communication to validate no. that I'm real or to defend that I'm real. Yeah, this is not even a communication. You're sleep talking. There's no one there. That makes no sense to say that. It doesn't. That <laughs> Do you have a logical answer or is, do I have to just go with the Re Repeat again, sir. Repeat again. That's just what came out. <laughs> That's fine. But why can't, I, why cannot any holes be found in this communication? Because the one that's looking for a hole is the hole. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer, actually. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, some people got okay. I'll I'll get get to the question. Sorry, Monique, please go ahead. Hi, Monique. Me unmute myself. Yes, we're up early this morning. Um, I didn't really have a question. I was just thinking about what William said, and if there's an apparent experience, I just would say for me, um, the apparent falling away happened not long ago. I don't know when, a month two at this point now. What I have noticed is that um you know there was a lot of searching right for a, apparently three years there was reading you know starting with the power of now and then anything i could get my hands on you know rupert's like and uh like the, just a million you know different yeah cures um 
And so when the apparent falling away happened for me, what was realized for this was that none of that was coming from this. It was the person, right, mm. seeking. So I don't know if that helps, William, because I remember the me listening to this message through Anna in the beginning. It was Tony Parsons, actually, that I have had that sense of falling away when the first time I listened to one of his videos randomly on YouTube scrolling, it was within a day or so that there was something noticed Yeah, that yeah. felt like all my attachments yeah. were gone. It was, yeah. I, it, I don't want to say it happened to me. It was just like a, oh, oh. Yeah. It's, it's like, oh. This what? is this, this yeah. it's this. And that never was that. It was always this, you know, like, so maybe falling away is the only way to be descriptive. Yeah, you know yeah. I'm, I mean? just, like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being. You, I didn't notice when it happened. So called yeah, happened. Yeah. Just there was a. There was just a thing like wow, oh, and yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I get. I, now I'm kind of lost my train of thought. What William is going for because I, the the me was like that here. You know, like, why can't I, because it was the me that kept trying to grab it, you know? Yeah. Like, why, that doesn't make sense. You know, they, of course there's a me, here I am. You know, like I was, there was a lot yeah. of that here. And I, I, I get where there's no way to like convey to, it's just, you can't like give anyone anything no. to get it. I, it's not like even getting it, it just, I, I don't know. I feel like I see him, you know, want, wanting something like thinking it's something you can get. Yeah, yeah. Only here, it just seems to happen. And I, you know, there's a lot of folks say, and when you do feel this, it's like, yeah, the, none of that seeking had anything to do with. That's right. But yeah. at the same time, I don't know, because there's a, there's, <laughs> the me wants to say, or, the remnants wants to say, well, if the me had never done all those things, the seeking, the seeking, the seeking, yeah, yeah. then maybe the realization of the truth or whatever, you know, whatever this is, wouldn't have happened or appeared to happen. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like it's, it, it's not caused some really, right? Spontaneously. Yeah, yeah. Like go, oh yeah, this is it. And then never have read a book. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm, that's trying, what's being, being expressed here is that there's no cause and effect and everything that is, there's no such thing because again, let's go back into to what I was trying to say earlier, that anything that happens in time is not real. Yeah. So for yeah. it to say for it to say that, you know, um, well, you know, watching this video, watching this video and you no, know, none of that happened, right? So there's this there's this I don't even want to that's why I don't want to say it's a falling away because it seems like a process right. now, right? I'm just trying to be really hardcore. Um, it's so although, tough to describe. It's tough to describe, yeah. Because there's this, because it becomes a narrative. So what's being expressed here is not really um, time-based. It's not really time-based. Actually, yeah. it's the is timelessness. It, there is no time. It, and yeah. it's noticed that there isn't. It's yeah. Even I've noticed, well, that since this apparent happening, I don't, like, my memory is like, because nothing is held onto. So, like, as far as, I can't remember what I ate for breakfast. It's, it's not, I mean, I have to really struggle, you know what I mean? Because the me stored all that like information as far as being important. Yeah, it's not like yeah. you lose your memory, but it's like you're so, everything is just unfolding. So there's no story or real, you know, attachment to, yeah, you may know you have plans next week or whatever, but you're not thinking about that. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. you're not in future thoughts or past thoughts. That's what this is noticed is like, it's just always half unfolding no matter yeah, what it's, it is. It's, it's inging, you know, it doesn't stop. Yeah. So it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't pause or stop or it's just inging. It's and always no moving. There's yeah. no thinking anymore about. It's unknowing. I mean, it's not, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's almost yeah. like this. There's no process. Because yeah, process the seems mind kind. doesn't like grab onto mm. like let's for instance there there's a cruise coming up from for me for this apparent birthday thing. Oh, happy birthday! 
it's coming up on the 3rd of April, uh, you know, whatever. I don't think about it, but there's a cruise booked. Yeah. The old me, the self would have been, oh, I got to remember this. I got to get a passport. Blah, 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 blah. I got to oh, my, this. Excursion's going this way. Oh, I don't think about it at all. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll show up on that day and and I'll you know, apparently get on this boat and whatever happens, happens. Oh, so it's kind of cool true. because the old me would have worried and created, you know, what if the, what if, you know, what if there's a lockdown? What if there's, you know, what if there's traffic and I can't get to the boat? The old me would have just created all this garbage. And yeah, it's yeah. Just yeah, so that's that's basically the, uh, the, the what's being expressed here is that when it's seen that there's the end of times, meaning the end of time, that the time is, is seen through the illusory nature of it, the should have, could have, would have right. is eliminated. You're like, oh, then there's really no FOMO because it's, no one is missing out. That's 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 the part. I mean, that's the part of the realization that is so beautiful to me. Like mm. the, the the you know things still happen. You're still gonna like stub your toe or get, or someone's gonna cut you off, and you're gonna want to say, "Hey, you're number one. How you doing?" I mean that. I mean that for, for this that still happens. Um, but I don't like hang on to the getting mad or happy or any of that. There's yeah, fleeting yeah. moments of all of it. And then it's, be- it, and then it, it, it passes. There's no clinging to any, like, Oh, this person really said something to me to make me mad or whatever. And you stay angry and you, pro- and you think about how you're going to maybe, you know, Oh, I'll get them back. Whatever. None of that is, it's all stupid. It's gone. Like it's, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, whatever. but or there's even if like, that comes know, up, the idea of it, it, it disappears right away too. You're like, Oh, so quick, it's like interesting. Vapor. It's cool. I mean, that's cool. that yeah, part's yeah. cool. Because time yeah. is seen as a whole, basically. It, it, there's nothing that exists in time. Nothing. There's no offend. You don't, there's no me anymore to be offended or. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, oh, okay, that happened. Yeah, the you know, and maybe it is the me, the part of the me that's left that gets ticked off for a minute or, or you know, excited for a second. And then it's it just fades in. And it, that, I know that sounds bad. Um, maybe just, you know what I mean? To some. Yeah. Yeah. But let's, it feels let's, like you lose identity there, but it's such no, a blessing. No, 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 it's not. It's such not a about, blessing. it's not a denial. Right. It's, it's an acceptance. That it's an illusion though. Yes. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it, this is this, the, what is supposed, to, I don't know. So I, I'm not even wording it right. It's just, this is how, this is just this, it's just this and it's okay. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much, Monique. I remember when we first talked, you, you were just yeah. like, oh my God, I have to talk to you. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like settling in. You settle into it because it's yeah, so weird. Yeah. In the beginning, you're like, what is this? But yeah, you settle in. And as, as you know, I think you, the, the, the you is still falling, or whatever is happening with the me is still trying to get in there. Trying to start- trying to navigate, you know, something yeah. something that cannot it, be navigated. You're, you're like used to having GPS, and you don't need it, so it's like yeah, it, yeah. it starts to fade off, and you're okay. It starts to become more totally, uh, totally. Yeah, I love that. That's this yeah. is yeah. Anyway, love you, Monique. I'm love planning, you too. I'm planning to do um um uh on maybe um have an open mic. For um, I call it radical and uncompromising open mic for people that just want to speak. I don't have to be there. Monique can be there. Maybe some Carol, and a couple of people um, that just wants to talk about this. You know, if you just That'd be want cool. to, yeah, yeah, an open mic. You know, and I'll just, I'll just, uh, yeah. So this doesn't have that any is the authority thing too about yeah. this. And there's no real feeling of isolation from apparent other people. It's not that. It's just that who do you talk if you wanted to speak of it? Uh, it makes any difference there's no one uh, at yeah. least for here that if i said any of this you know i tried a couple times with my grown-up kids who are you know <laughs> practicing spiritual stuff so i was like oh maybe they'll be open to this me t-. and they're just like deer in the headlights at me and i'm like it's okay you know it's, it's don't worry mommy's not crazy it's, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> we're good or is she <laughs> or is she? Yeah, I know. Like, you're gonna have me committed. What do you mean? There's no one. You're no. I, I said to my son, Patrick, you. <laughs> there is no Patrick. And I said, he's like, I'm like, it's okay. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Never mind. <You're... laughs> he's like, no, they're not. You know, it'll. It, the realization will come on their own. It's not up to this 
to try and, you know, because that's the me trying to convince them yeah. of something and then turning it into something when it's nothing. So <laughs> that's right. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Uh, Corey is next, and then I'll have Mala. Corey, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Thank you, Monique. We'll do that open mic soon. And everyone's invited, of course. Although no one will show up. Corey? Where is Corey? Did we lose Corey? Okay, we'll go with Mala first. Hi, Mala. Oh, I can't hear you. Hi, Emerson. Hi, Mala. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Um, Emerson, could you um, could you share a day in the life of Emerson, starting from waking up in the morning to brushing your teeth and fix, making a cup of coffee? Because this thing about um, I I don't know. You know, when you're in this, you don't know that it's just kind of stuck, you know, it's just uh, something wants to know whether it does know, if you know what I mean. It's, yeah, 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 for uh, sure. So I start by levitating uh, about 20 inches from the ground, <laughs> and then I fly to the next uh, dimension, and then I open up my third eye chakra and everything gets enlightened. Um, no, none of that really matters because everything that I'm going to tell you is a dream. You're trying to make a dream real. You're trying to, you know, trying to understand something. As I said, time is an illusion. You're trying to use time to make something real. Nothing happens because there's no time. So the imagine, imaginary time, everything that's in the time, including a me, a you, and everything, all that there is is this, and there's nothing outside of this. So nothing is happening, but in the time, in the me-based, the time-based me, let's just call it that, right? The time-based character named Mala, it's trying to figure out something that was actually seen before. We, we've had a talk that there's no such thing. But the moment that you try to make what happened, the timelessness, as I said in the email, into a time situation, it becomes, I lost it, I got it. But who's the one that lost it and who's the one that got it? It's the time-based character. So anything that is time-based, including a character, you or me, is really unreal, but it feels completely real. So everything is an illusion. Yeah, everything. everything. If we're talking about non-duality, right? Not not selective non-duality. There's some selective non-duality out there, <laughs> which is kind of like, uh, you know, um, if you get to that awareness, when you become I am that, that's, you know. <laughs> yeah. Or when you realize, you know, who's going to realize? Because it, it spooked me that um, even when I thought I was, um, in the in this in this right, mm. you pointed out that was a story that really yeah. shocked me. that yeah. really shocked me, Emerson. That yeah. uh, when I was driving, um, I, I completely lost the sense of time. I was shocked that yeah. an hour's journey only felt like two minutes, and um, uh, I would be doing something and occasionally something would come in and say what wow what, what what was that or there was a totally a total gone you know you, you you were just not there yeah yeah and it and it shocked me that you said even that was a story yeah so, like I'm totally stuck isn't it so there's only this as yeah, the, yeah. the other lady was saying that it's just everything is just pinging as is it's now. a never ending this it's a never ending this. yeah yeah never ending this the Good moment luck. that what's that S sorry i'm sorry no the moment that you capture that in time is like bottling freedom so there's this never ending freedom 
and there's no one in it. So every time I see it, I'm trying to grab it and make it. You're trying to make it timed, yeah. There's no choosing anyway. There's no one there. There's no free will and choice because that also signifies time. So I'm just basically trying to expose the really flimsy illusion that seems so gigantic. The naturalness is that there's no time. It's all timelessness. Or as I said before, emptiness. Thank you, Amazon. Thank Good you. luck to me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'll do that one one on one again, Mala, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if Corey's still here, but Corey wanted to do to ask a question. Let me just see. Oh yeah, there's yes. Corey. Hi Corey. Yeah. Oh, hi Emerson. Yep. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, yeah, I nearly forgot you this morning and I suddenly remembered. Oh, of course. Um, you're going to do a Zoom today. I was just thinking, what am I going to do with my day? So I was really delighted. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And um, I just wanted to ask you, um, when you say there's, there's, there's just what is, hmm. um, so is... So just what is, is the seeing um, out of these eyes. Um, there's nobody here, but it's just the seeing out of this apparent eyes, like these four walls and the trees outside in the wind through the window. And, and then, so that's actually when you say that this is all there is, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, there's all that there is. And it's timeless, and it's all that there ising actually it doesn't stop, right? It's ising, so it it doesn't have a location. All that there is, and it's boundless. There's no one here, so the seeing that there is a um, trees and outside, all that that ising, is all that there is ing. Um, it can't be captured. It can't be captured in time. It's the naturalness of everything, which means that it's all timeless appearing in time. Yeah, so, um, right, so this is all there is, mm. is what the apparent me sees as four walls, etc. But it's also... Um, but it also fabricates what this is. Yes. Yeah. So, but but this is actually all the me sees is is nothing. It's, it, oh. There's actually no <laughs> I mean, me. So all that there is is seeing. There's really no me, right? So the all that there is is this seeing, but there's this illusion that what's being seen is real. It's felt. It's seen. And there's also this illusion that it's happening in time and space. So simultaneously, timeless apparently happens in time and space, which is the illusion. So it's happening simultaneously, which is hard to imagine. It's unimaginable. So as far as the me goes, <clears throat> but there isn't any me, um, beyond what's see, being seen through these eyes, um, so... There's nobody out there. Uh, there's no cars going past. There's, uh, they don't exist. There's nothing. No, no there's no. nothing. Yeah, there yeah. There you go. No, of course nothing. there isn't. Yeah. Right. So unless these apparent eyes look in that direction and see cars going past, nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> Does yeah. that make sense? I don't know quite what I'm it saying. It doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, it doesn't no, it really no. defies no. logic, right? Because logic exists in time and space. Knowing exists in time. So everything that time holds is an illusion that feels completely real. Like time, right? So knowing, knowledge, everything, everything 
is 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 appearing um, in time, but it's actually timelessness. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Something happening on an energy level, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I it's it's feel... a disruption of the contracted energy, right? It's being disrupted right now. The contracted is this belief of time and space, this knowing of what's happening. So when it's being disrupted, when it's being saying that, it's already boundless. Mm -hmm. So that I seems to be like the, ooh. Yes. Yes. I kind of feel what you're saying. Yeah. It can't More be understood, though. No. No. I feel it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it feels lovely <laughs> for the me. Yeah. Apparently. me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. It feels lovely. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's all rising and falling away. Yeah, it doesn't stop because um, it doesn't have time. Mm, mm. It's free. Mm. It's free. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Ooh, yes. thank yes. you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. It's free. Oh. Um. Petra. Hi. Hello, my love. <laughs> Hello, my love. Oh. Yeah, I find myself um, making non-duality extremely another thing, another goal to get. And when you were talking about this open mic thing before, I thought, oh, it's very much like in group and out group, and I, <laughs> I failed. <laughs> no, no one fails because no one succeeds. But I, I, I want to expose it because it was really strong. And <laughs> so all of that that you just told me is time. Mm. What's being exposed here that there's no time. As there is not to get where you're speaking from. Yeah, no I, yeah. I figure out and, and I, I, I grab the words and so yeah. I'm up in time. Yeah. It's not it's not to figure where you're speaking from. No, 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 yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there's Thank this you. there's this resonance, you know what I'm saying? Resonance doesn't have time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's this intuitiveness, right? You can't really describe it. So what's indescribable is actually what's occurring simultaneously that doesn't have any ending. So there's always resonance, but the belief in time contracts that resonance into thinking that it can be understood what's being understood. So nothing mm -hmm. is, is ever, can never, ever, 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 ever be understood. Um, and then it, it flips back and forth. So the me yeah. can only Putting survive. conditions again. On, yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's unconditional. All right. Love you. Love you. Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Hey, uh. Hi, yeah. How you doing? Hey. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, it's really weird. I still like mostly don't have a clue what you're talking about. In, <laughs> but there's also still like this note, like just this, uh, I guess when I hear you talking about like the, you know, uh, the falling away and whatever I feel like that's when I really get kind of hooked into like then the questions come then the like the it all takes shape and form and all of that and then I'm like back into the trying to work it out and stuff so I, <laughs> I guess it, yeah I just don't know what to do about that like um yeah, I don't, nothing probably, but <laughs> yeah, um, it seems as though like just even, I think it was Monique who was talking about, you know, her, the apparent falling away and um, like, I feel like there's been glimpses. Um, obviously I know that that is not, that it is that already without any of that, but it seems that there for it to really be a 
like, I don't know, a shift that there has to be something that happens because otherwise, otherwise, if I'm just like, if I just go on, yeah, I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, so just, yeah, that's all. So just an observation, right? There's this me that's going back in time and space, trying to kind of yeah. like, you know, the me did this, the me, you know what I'm saying? Going, you know, all of that is the narrative. The one that's thinking all of that is the veil mm. of what's being expressed here that this is already this. That there's mm. nothing to understand and there's nothing to get. There's no process to this. There's no before and after. This is already everything that seems to be appearing right now is all emptiness. So emptiness appearing as a story of um, Rosie going through this process, but that's all emptiness. And it's just mm. revealing now that there's no time. Everything that you said in time is a story, meaning it didn't really mm. happen. Yeah. So it seems as though like the, like, I don't know, it's like, like, I don't know, I guess obviously is the story just meant to be like light and then fun or like however it is, but it's just, um, like, yeah, it's not, it's <laughs> yeah, it's just not, um, yeah, it kind of just to me seems like it's better to just be quiet. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Because that's when, like, even talk, like, even, you know, doing the backwards and forth of, like, oh, like, knowing that if I'm going to start talking to you, that it's already, I feel like I have to go out, or not go out, but kind of, fuck, like, um, yeah, I don't know how to say that. Um, yeah. So I kind of just get left, I just come back to the place of like, well, there's nothing to say and just sit back and watch. Yeah, there's <laughs> no one, no, yeah, there's no one choosing if someone is saying or nothing to say, it's the same thing. Yeah. Right? There's no one there doing any of that, right? So it's, it's uh, the illusion of wanting to say something or not wanting to say is exactly the same thing. So mm -hmm. no one knows anything. No one knows anything. As I said, okay. we are, we're all sleep talking here. Mm. Yeah. Is that in, like including like your, yourself, like, you know. Well, there's your, no one here. So this is sleep yeah. talking as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep talk yeah. Okay. So sleep talking is happening there as well. Yeah. So sleep talking okay. is basically saying that this is sleep talking. There's a, there's a, a piercing revelation saying that oh, none of this really matters then. No one is doing anything here. Mm -hmm. This is all just dreaming or sleeping, but no one is going to wake up because there's no one here. There's no one there. It's just sleep talking. No one's choosing to do anything here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It, if it's seen that there's no one here, it's also seen that there's no one there. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah sure why yeah, not, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay all right sure thing emerson <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you all right. <laughs> william there's a couple of questions here first i'm going to ask uh, sorry william and i'll get to you um it's a lot here um oh shoot Yeah, there, there'll be a breakout room at the end if you guys want to. Um, thanks, Monique. Yeah. You guys can have an a, a, do an open mic after the session. Yeah, for sure. William, go ahead, please. Yeah, so when Monique was sharing, obviously that mm. I thought that was incredible what she was sharing. It's yeah. really nice to hear it. Um, but when she was sharing about stuff like, you know, she's not thinking about what she had for breakfast this morning and she's not putting her attention onto the cruise and what might go wrong and all that stuff. On the one hand, I can hear the freedom in that, like not holding on to anything. But at the same time, what really came across is how that scent is not there that's attaching and holding on to everything and making everything into a big deal. And I can see how that 
it's the threat of losing that center that causes so much fear and anxiety for me because I'm kind of thinking, well, if there's just these things happening and no one's there holding on to things or whatever, then there's, there's no one in it experiencing any of it. Yeah. And that, that for me, that would feel like such a threat that that center yeah. going. So all this time you think this is just a story that you're behind the wheel, that you're driving this life. When, 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 when it's actually seen here that it's just, it's just, you don't have to, to, well, there's no one there, there's no one driving it. So even the idea that I'm controlling this, that there's no control, when it's revealed that there's really been no control whatsoever, even the idea that I'm controlling this or I'm getting out of control is just an idea. Again, the time illusion of controlling or having no control is the same illusion. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Um, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Oh, hi, Emerson. Can you hear me? I can. Good, good. Um, I just wanted to say, though, that the illusion of time is so uh, consistently reinforced oh, yeah, by, yeah. The, by the aging process. Not the same as, you know, 20 years ago or 40 years ago. Or, you know, it's so obvious. So it, it's consistently reinforced into the me. And even I was thinking, even with with nature, you know, uh, watching your your dog or your cat age, and they slow down, and then they have arthritis, and pretty soon they pass. You know, the physical form passes. Or even I said, you know, I remember a little tree, a seedling that I planted, you know, 20 years ago. It's huge. You know, it's almost <laughs> six feet, seven feet. So, you know, it's, it's, we're constantly pulled in. The, the me is constantly pulled in to the illusion. It's very difficult to escape it. Yeah, because and the illusion the is, the illusion is that it is real. See, that's how amazing an illusion is, is it, it all feels completely real. And it keeps on reinforcing or regenerating its realness by seeing a picture of you 20 years ago, by seeing your aging pets, by doing that. But everything is appearing all at once, Kathy. All at once. Well, you know, also, though, when you, you're thinking about uh, somebody from the past who's who's gone on, it, it's, you know, you're sharing the memory. Yeah, yeah. So Again, it's uh, your uh, memory and it's, you know, the person you're, you know, whoever you're with, we're sharing the memory about mom. You know, yeah, the, yeah. the memory is a lot, mm. feels alive, you know? Oh, yeah, because the, the experience, <laughs> the illusion is real that there's actually another person in their room, but there's no one and there's no such thing as memories as well. There's no one out there. So I'm going to use the dream analogy. Yeah. So, for yeah, example, you're dreaming at night, you're talking to someone. Right. You're talking, it, it, it feels like, you know, you've been talking for like hours and hours and then you wake up and then you realize you only slept for 10 minutes. It's time yeah. real. Yeah. No, no, of course that happened. Was that, really that, there that, anyone that. that you're talking to over there? No. Okay, no. it's the same as this. Yeah, it's just that, you know, with the dream, you know, you wake up and you go, oh boy, that was some dream. Well, how do you know that you never woke up? No one wakes up. You're still dreaming and there's no you. Yeah, I know. I, I, I yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to grasp that, which is, <laughs> okay. which is, the, which is the ungraspable. But I'm just saying how, uh, you know, I, I believe I woke up and I believe I'm in a reality. Yeah, you know, that's that's the belief system. Because the dream, and is, I'm, I'm the dream is real. Yeah, the dream feels real. That's the illusion. It feels but, real. But uh, you're, pulled, you're pulled in by everything that, that's surrounding you and that you're seeing and interacting with. You're constantly pulled in because, you know, here, oh, hello, somebody comes over. You know, you, you, to, to be in this sense of this is one thing right now, um, 
it's why the struggle, you know, this, this one, whatever you say, timeless instant or whatever it's called, <laughs> whatever <laughs> I refer to it. <laughs> words. Words, words, yeah. words. Yeah, there's no word, I guess, for yeah. it. But it, it's it's um, it's it's really quite um, it's quite a challenge. I can understand why William is struggling. I'm struggling. You know, it's 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 really it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge to be in that place which doesn't even exist, right? Yeah. In, in the story, it, it seems like a challenge, right? It seems like that there's this heaviness to time, you know, because it's believed really, really strongly. And there's no one choosing to believe or not to believe. I can't tell you to disbelieve something that is so ingrained, that's so persistent, because you see pictures and all this kind of stuff and um, or, yeah. or, or feeling. Um, but everything that you feel, see, and everything that is seen, heard, everything that seems to appear in time, is persistent because it's the persistent illusion of reality. For example, there's yeah. persistence that there is when you're walking on the ground that you're feeling the weight. When you're holding a cup, there's this separation. When you're speaking, there's this sound coming up. But all of this is 99.99% .99 empty space. Emptiness. Everything is emptiness. But the emptiness, there's this illusion that it's completely real. So how do you get out of reality um, when there's no reality? Excuse me? When there's what? How no do you reality? get reality when there's no such thing as reality? You can't. But in this so-called dream that we are experiencing, mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's, there's the function, the functioning. So it's like that, uh, I forget her name already, the one that said she fell away. Like, you know, she said to her son, you know, there's nobody here. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. Your, you know, and yeah, he well, looked at her like, mom, well, you're crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's still it's still dreaming, right? So no one wakes up in the dream. No one, but it's seen that it's only a dream. Big difference, right? So in the dream, you're talking to your son that there's no one here, it's a dream. And in the right. dream... The son is going to say, you're crazy. Right. But, you, but it's, it's still seen as a, it's seen as a dream. Yeah, it seems as the unreal and real happening at the same time. Meaning that this is unreal. But since this, this is a dream of real, that there's still going to be a son. There's still going to be Kathy. There's still going to be an Emerson. But it's all a dream that no one wakes up to. It's all an illusion that feels completely real, but it's actually... It'll look up the, the 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 definition of illusion. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's unreal. It's something you create, right? No, something you unreal. you don't create it because there's no you. Let me look yeah. it up. Actually, I don't know what illusion means. Let's see, let's see what the library will say. What does an illusion mean? Illusion. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Illusion. A thing that is or likely being wrongly perceived or interpreted by the senses. It's wrongly perceived. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. If yeah. It's not perceived. That's right. Got you. It's not perceived. It doesn't exist. Yeah. There you go. There's no perceiver, yeah. so it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. To be continued. <laughs> oh, there's no continuation. This no. is it. <laughs> this yeah. is it. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Emerson. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rosie. I just wanted to clarify because I've forgotten what you said already. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're um, not writing it down? You should write every single word that I say. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
no, don't write anything down. Um, so there's no need to, like, nothing needs to fall away. Like, yeah, nothing need. you don't have to have a really, the person doesn't need to have a really conscious experience of it falling away kind of thing. It all, that already sounds weird, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a dangling carrot. It's it's an offer, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's it's a. Oh, did you just freeze or I froze? Again, Emerson. All right, I'm back. <laughs> okay, can you repeat that, Rosie? Sorry. Oh, I was just wondering. Like, so nothing needs to fall away. Like. For, you know, you do, the, the person or the apparent person doesn't need to have a conscious awareness of that falling away process or whatever like that. No, no, no. Again, as I said, I think I was just saying that there's, there's just a lot of misperception about this apparent unhappening that um, it's, 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 it's a state or it's a something that occurs to someone. Okay. Right, it's like an enlightenment or an awakening, all that kind of stuff. It's quite tricky because what's being exposed here that it's already this. This is already f unconditional freedom. This is already let's just use the word enlightenment. But no one awakens and no one gets enlightened. There's a recognition or a seeing that what's being looked for is already here. This is already unconditional freedom. Since nothing is really happening, since all of this is an illusion, since there's no time. This is eternity. Some people call it paradise. Some people call it heaven. Some people call it whatever name. These are just words of trying to point out something that's already here. But it doesn't have anyone in it because there's no time in timelessness. There's only a me or individuals in time. So when you yank out that big um, illusory time and see that it's not really real, no one has ever been here. No one has ever been separate. There's no carrot being dangled in front of you. And then every single character that you met, even characters that you put up on a pedestal, are not really real. None of it is. And they can't offer you anything because there's no you to offer it to. All I can really do here is this, is this exposure. The kindness that I can do is, is tell you what's being honestly, undeniably seen here, that there's no time, that there's no you. So I can't give you anything and no one can give you anything because there's no one else out there. This is the complete um, revelation that there's never been anyone here, so there's never been anyone special. There's no one holy. There's no messengers. There's no avatars. All of those are fantasy. No one on a pedestal. I just always come to the point, so like, what is actually going on then? Like, and then I hear you say nothing, nothing's nothing, happening. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, that's literally it just every time. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. Fuck? Well, I'm, I'm going to use the dream analogy again, right? When you're dreaming at night, is anything happening? No. Okay, so nothing's happening. Since there's no time, there's no difference from that dream at night and this apparent dream. Nothing is happening. No purpose, no meaning. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Emerson. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm actually going to be posting this meeting um, maybe later on, yeah. Um, <clears throat> thanks for the wicked humor. Thank you, Rosa. Oh, David. Sorry, I didn't see David there. David, please go ahead. Hi, Emerson. 
Oh, hi, David. Hello, good to see you. How are good you? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, yeah, good, good, yeah, good to be here. Thanks. Um, so, by an absolute coincidence, I just want to follow up on uh, what was discussed in the the last. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot the, the girl's name. She, and she was questioning this uh, very well known and and very well used phrase. Hello. Is it me or is it David? David. It's David. Oh, David disappeared. Yeah. yeah. It's not you, Emerson. Okay, okay. All right. David, Here. you can come back. Are you there, David? Apparently, lagging happens everywhere. He's not there. Okay. All right, Vera, he please never go ahead. Existed. He's gonna. <laughs> 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 My point exactly. <laughs> Go ahead, Vera. Um, I was going to say, it feels like I've died, like a death, you know? And it's like disappearing, dying and disappearing, <laughs> and without having to die in the dream. Physically. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it actually feels good. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. It's light, right? It's like, ooh. Yeah, yeah it just it, feels it's the, the The burden and the heavy belief of time and belief is the heavy part. So when right, it's and seen, the belief individual, no yeah. individual. No, there's never been anyone here. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it feels good. Yeah. It's just good, death. Good. Death. God, yeah. disappearance and death. This is death, yeah. Then uh, this can play out. But actually, you know, when I have my dreams at night, the, a lot of them are very vivid. It feels, it feels the same like the daytime dream. It yeah. feels like something is happening. Yeah, yeah. Something is there. I mean, I take them the same as far as the day and the night. That's, that's, it's the same. It's the same, yeah. So it's if I decide same. that this is real, the night is real. Exactly, yeah. yeah. There's nothing real. Mm. Mm. And it understand. feels so damn good when there's nothing real. It does feel good. <laughs> But actually, the nighttime dreams feel better. They're more more uh, enjoyable for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> well, we'll open up the floor later on if you guys want to do an open mic. That'll be kind of cool. And I'll just yeah, walk my dog. This. Yeah, after mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Um, Kathy, and please go ahead. Or maybe David. Is David back? Hello, I'm back. Okay, and <clears throat> Hello, I'll get to you, Kathy. About that. No worries. That was my internet just died yeah. on me. Um, <clears throat> so it's just to get back to this phrase that we hear a lot, which is there's nothing happening. It seems yeah, to yeah. me that when you use that phrase, you're you're kind of saying it in in that 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 that's kind of from the person that there's nothing happening. Uh, that that happenings only happen to a person. There needs to be a person for there to be a happening, and that's when you talk about unhappening. That there's mm -hmm. obviously there's no one there in unhappening, and I kind of get that. But I, where I struggle, and and I think perhaps where other people may struggle as well with trying to people. understand the, the concepts, is is that to to me a happening can be an event, which is an occurrence, mm. which can occur without a person present. You see what I'm saying? But you, when you say happening, you're always saying the condition of using the word happening is that there's always the belief that there's a person there. But yeah, I disagree with that. Let's talk that. about happening as a time. If there's no time, is there really a happening? Um, well, in a dream, there can be events and there's no time in a dream. There could mm. be a plane crash. That's an event, an yeah, occurrence. Yeah, but but that's seen, it's, it's seen as an illusion. If there's no time, everything that happens in time collapses into like nothing. Yeah. yeah. I mean... I, I, I do. I totally, I totally get this whole thing about time. Before I even got into non-duality, I often pondered about, you know, 
the, the nature of reality and stuff. And mm. for me, it always came down to time. I always felt if I could crack time, yeah, yeah, then I'd be then I'd well, be we getting somewhere it here. understand the universe. Yeah. yeah, we just cracked it here. We just cracked. There it is here. no time. There's no yeah. time. Yeah. It's, so if there's no there time. No... There's also no me. So everything that you said didn't really make sense because you're basing it from a me that exists in time so, and space. It was just revealed yeah, that there's to... no time. Yeah, so there's no me in time. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but that but it's it's the word happening that I'm looking to discuss, not time. Happening really. is so happening. How do you link is, them? Happening is 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 um is is a perception of a me. Yeah. Right. It's happening to me. Nothing uh, that, is happening that, no, without that, a me. That is exactly what I wanted to talk about. But yeah. that's that's what you're saying. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there can mm. be happenings which do not include a, a me. How do you can, know that? Is that not, Everything um, that you perceive well, is through a me. Um, Don't tell me you can get into other me's and perceive that it's happening to them. <laughs> yeah, but but if there's a plane crash, if if okay. if a tank blows up, again, in Ukraine, everything that you are saying right now is only being me, perceived by me. There's no all the perception is through a me. Yeah, there's no plane crash. I just, you're it just feels like there can be happenings without a me then, then because you're, you're saying that everything yeah. happens to a me. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. What I'm right, saying yeah. is that I've, everything not, that you're, can all there I'm not expressing to you, everything that you're perceiving, everything that you're saying is is filtered through a me. Yet, yeah, agreed. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So how do you know that yeah. there's there's no one here except you, your appearance or your perception of a you? So there's no. Well, I don't know that. I can't. I don't know that. At okay. All. all right. You also yeah. know. You also don't know that there's no one here as well. So everything that you know is only you knowing it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I so, would agree. Yeah. So I what agree. you were saying is erroneous then that there's a happening outside of a me because everything that you're perceiving is just your perception. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you're absolutely right. Yeah. But can there not be events? I mean, so again, so what everything you're that you're perceiving, is, every single event that you perceive is only through yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So if I imagine that there's snow on top of a mountain somewhere on the other side of the world, mm -hmm. that is absolutely 100% not happening. Nothing that you perceive is happening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Cool. Um, Have you frozen, Emerson? Oh, again? Yeah, he's frozen. Oh, hello. Hi there. Yes. Um, I thought you'd just give me the thousand mile stare there. Thousand yard stare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Um, this Cheers. is the uh, the first session. We're going to come back. Um, I think it, I don't know the schedule, but um, we'll come back. Uh, people that want to stay, you can stay. I'm going to stop the recording. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Is there a breakout yeah. room? Hi, There's, a breakout room. Yeah. There's a breakout room. Yeah. There's a breakout room. Thank you, Emerson. Thank you, Emerson. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Great talk. Thank you, Emerson. That was fun. Great. That was kind of hard. Yeah. Thank you. Kind of hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Emerson. I'm just going to walk my dog and um, I'll see you guys.